What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today, super fun one. We're going over the six things that I strongly dislike about living in Tennessee. You don't want to miss it. Stick around. What's going on guys, Evan Barron here. And if this is your first time to the channel, you're gonna to wanna to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. On this channel, we go over all things Chattanooga, what it's like to live, eat, sleep, play, and work. And I am a licensed realtor. So as much as I do love making these videos, I love helping you guys with your real estate needs even more. So in any of the ways down below, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to help. With that said, in no particular order, we will start this video off with number one, the high pollen count. In Chattanooga specifically, we are seated in a valley between the Appalachian Mountains and the Cumberland Mountains. And basically what that means is we have a ton of vegetation and a ton of pollination and nowhere for that pollen to go. It's being blocked by two mountain ranges. So during the spring and fall months, the pollen count can be really high. And if you struggle with allergies, you might struggle here as well. That is definitely something to consider. Now, as I progress down this list, you'll realize that a lot of the things I hate about Tennessee have to do with its geographic location. Now, it's funny because the thing that I love about Tennessee is because of its geographic location and it being seated you know, in the mountains. With that said, we will hit point number two, and this may come as an obvious one to some of you guys, but Tennessee is landlocked. There is no ocean. We don't have an ocean, but we do have mountains, we have lakes, we have rivers, we have streams, we have reservoirs. We have all those things, which is fantastic, but it's not the ocean. Uh, it's a completely different vibe from the ocean. The beach and the ocean is actually not that far away. You can go to Gulf Shores, Alabama, or you could go to Destin, Florida, and it's really only like a six hour drive. It's really not that bad at all. So if you live in Tennessee, you just have to expect to drive a little bit longer and drive out of state in order to make it to the ocean. And point number three, why I dislike Tennessee is the amount of new building that is going on. Uh, it's a love and hate relationship, right? Like the way that they build these, these new builds is they really just try to fit as many single family homes, townhomes, or apartment buildings in as small of a location as possible. So if you have an acre lot and a developer is developing these new communities, they're gonna fit as many as possible. And you know, with that, you get smaller yards right? Chattanooga itself is growing a ton. I know Nashville is experiencing some growth, not as much as Chattanooga. Knoxville is experiencing probably as much growth as Chattanooga. And with these new builds, you're going to have a lot smaller yards. They're more cookie cutter. And if you are looking for a new build, I would highly suggest doing some research into the builder. Sometimes it can be a little bit iffy with the homes. I always recommend, even if you are buying a new build, get an inspection. Uh, always get an inspection because sometimes new builds try to new builders try to cut corners and you really just want to do as much research as possible into the developer and into the builder so that you know nothing falls through the cracks uh, literally now with the massive amount of new builds that are going on the reason why they're building them in the first place is because demand is so high and supply is still pretty limited right the reason is because we have an influx of people and that brings me to point number four, that is the growing amount of traffic. Nashville, Knoxville specifically, tons of traffic all the time. Uh, it's getting really annoying. I personally used to live in Miami, so it's definitely still not as bad as Miami, uh, but you know, it's getting there and traffic is getting worse. Chattanooga, we have a little bit of traffic, but Chattanooga itself is still pretty small from this side of the city to this side of the city, you're still not traveling that far of a distance. The only place that you're going to experience a lot of traffic really is there's a fork that goes either to Ch Chattanooga or Atlanta. There's always traffic there. Uh, it is growing a little bit. It's still not as bad as Nashville or Knoxville. Now on the topic of traffic, something to consider as well, when you're not traveling on the highway, the back roads in Tennessee can be a little bit iffy as well if you're not used to it. I mean, you're going to be driving on windy roads that don't have much light. The ditches are gonna be massive and sometimes you're gonna be driving on the side of a mountain with a cliff right next to you. And again, there's not gonna be that much light. 
So that is definitely something to consider as well. When you first move here, you definitely have to be a little bit more careful when driving on those back roads. This brings me to point number five, and that is the extreme weather that Chattanooga experiences. Part of the state of Tennessee is located in Tornado Alley. So depending on the time of year, uh, you can experience some crazy weather systems and more specifically tornadoes. Uh, tornadoes happen. They don't happen all the time, but they do happen. It's something that you should be aware of. The last tornado that hit Chattanooga was back in 2020, Easter 2020, um, and we haven't really experienced anything since. In Chattanooga, we experience one tornado in about every 10 years. So again, it's something to be aware of. It's something to consider when you are looking to relocate here, but it's not really something to be extremely worried about. Now, point number six, I have a love and hate relationship with it but it is the hot and humid summers here. Now, the reason why I love the hot and humid summers is because there is a lake right next to me that I can jump in, or when I'm hiking, I can take a dip in the river or in the stream, or I can go to a waterfall and, and jump in the swimming hole right there, right? So there's plenty of opportunity to feel refreshed during the hot and humid summers. The climate in Tennessee is humid and subtropical, so a lot of times it can become uncomfortable for some residents. If you're coming from somewhere like the coast of California or the Pacific Northwest, where it doesn't get too hot and humid during the summers, then it's something that you're going to have to get used to here. Now, if you're coming from somewhere like Florida, where you know the, it's just blazing hot during the summers, then it's definitely not as bad. It is very pleasant during spring and fall, where the temperatures are like 60s, 70s, and you just go outside and, and enjoy the weather. And then winters are very mild as well. We'll maybe get one to two snow days per year. Uh, but you know, overall Tennessee, it does have a mild climate, but those summers, they do get pretty hot. And that is the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and comment down below if I missed anything. And again, guys, I am a licensed realtor. So if you are looking to relocate to Tennessee, feel free to contact me in any of the ways down below, and I'll be happy to help you out with that process. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.